Have you ever wondered what happens to our leftover food and garden waste that we put out in our bins? Today on Horizon Reports, we will show you exactly what happens to the waste you put in your bins. We travel to Juja Town in Kiambu County. Here we find a company that has taken the bold steps in changing the norm, Eko Dudu. Eko Dudu is a waste-to-value company that turns the garden waste into money. Eko Dudu is a waste mitigating company. We try to solve the problem of environmental waste. We find that in Kenya we have a lot of waste lying around and uh, this waste uh, emit a lot of greenhouse gases like CO2 which are posing a problem in, uh, in terms of environmental or climate change. So that is what we are trying to mitigate. Uh, we are also trying to provide a cheaper source of uh, protein. We find that fish meal and soy meal is also very expensive. So we are trying to find uh, an alternative source in, uh, protein source from insects, which is very affordable. Ekodudu has come up with ways of recycling organic waste into high-protein animal feeds and organic fertilizers using black soldier fly a measure that now plays a key role in recycling our plant nutrients. Uh, we also produce a lot of uh, fertilizer here. Once the black soldier flies feed on the waste, for example, currently we are using avocado waste. Once they feed on it, what is left behind is uh, organic manure, which is free from chemicals, as opposed to the, chemical pest, uh, the chemicals we are often using in our farms. Those ones are, they can even result in pollution of underground water, they also cause resistance. But this one, there's nothing in it, it is very organic. Uh, we've actually done some tests on it uh, using our um, tomatoes and we've seen that the growth rate was very high. We had them growing in three days as opposed to five days. Started in 2016, Ekodudu is seen as the way to go for many farmers as the recycling of organic waste plays a key role in plant growth and thus increase the yield of crops through positive impact on soil physicality, chemical and biological properties. So Ekodudu is uh, an environmentally friendly company because we are turning uh, environment, uh, waste from the environment into valuable products where we collect uh, garbage or waste from the environment. We use uh, natural insects where they break down the food, turn it into organic manure, and you can still use it in the farm. So actually there's zero waste uh, within the ecosystem. By working closely with other organizations, Ekodudu has been able to collect waste from hotels and also from the different dumping sites in the city, which have always had a big negative impact to the environment. Because we are using the avocado, we go to companies that use uh, avocado to extract oil, so they'll have the peelings and the seeds left behind, which they would just have thrown out. So we collect that and use it. Apart from that, you could use any other thing. You could use kitchen waste. Like uh, once you have, uh, like in Kenya, we have ugali as a staple food. Well, once you have leftovers, you can use that. Also hotels, when they throw away food, that is what we could use. With the ever-growing demand for animal feeds and organic fertilizers from both the farmers and the animal feed manufacturers, Ekodudu has found a stable market in Kenya, a country that thrives on agriculture. We've had very many people contacting us. Uh, we have those uh, who have come in, they want to be trained on how to even start their own uh, waste management. We are currently running some trainings. We also have outgrower farmers. We train them on how to to go around the whole process. And once they have uh, the larvae, we now purchase it from them. So it's an alternative, uh, it's a way of creating more cash if you have the time. Having such a company in a country where waste disposal is a big problem, and especially for developing cities like Nairobi, where the population density is high and the availability of land for waste processing and disposal is limited, has now been seen as the best way of cleaning and conserving the environment. Currently, we are facing a problem with uh, fish meal, with our depletion of the fish. So I think this is an alternative source that we can all chip into. 
So you must be wondering how Echo Dudu, by using black soldier fly and solid waste, is turned into the on-demand organic fertilizer that not only improves soil properties by adding nutrients, but also reduces toxicity of some heavy metals. So within the greenhouse, these are uh, the larvae prefer higher temperatures. That's why we, we use them within the greenhouse. Uh, we feed them on the waste, and you can actually see here. So these are just the larvae. They have been fed, so these are two day to three day old. You can see they have been fed. So once, uh, four to five days, they'll have fed on this food and broken it down. So once everything has been broken down, we also separate them, put them in a new crate, and also add the food. You can see here, they have uh, grown in size. I don't know whether you can be able to see. Yeah, so they have actually grown in size. Give them another three to five days also to feed on the, all of this food. And then also add, an, uh, add the food again. And here they have actually grown in size. So these are the pupae stage. And at this stage you can feed them directly to your chicken. They actually feed on them when they are even still alive. We continue with the same process. You can uh, look at the size. So these ones do not like uh, much light. They like darkness and they go into the corners. So we continue with the whole cycle like that until we get to the pupa stage. So these ones have really stayed. You can see the pupa. Uh, they actually become darker, it's harder to see them, this one here. They change uh, color and they are very dark in color. So at this stage you just collect them and then take them into the love cages where the insects will now emerge, mate and then also lay the eggs. Rahima Nasser, the head of research at Eco Dudu, takes us through the whole process of turning waste into value company. This is our warehouse. This is where we keep the cages, known as love cages, that the black soldier flies mate and lay eggs. So in the cage, you'll find a large population of insects inside it, both male and female, usually in equal proportion. These are flutes. They're kind of like pipes where the insect will lay the eggs. They're the yellowish substance on the pipe. So you find about uh, one female will lay close to 300 to 1,000 eggs in their lifetime. Um, at this stage, the insects only drink water. So we put water in a small tub and cover with a towel on top so that they don't drown in the water. After seven days, you find that um, they die. So their lifespan is that short. So all we need from the cages are the eggs. And once the eggs have been laid, we will carefully move them to a mixture of bran and water. So here is where we'll expect our eggs to hatch into small larvae after a period of three to five days. So once our larvae have hatched, from the mixture of bran and water, we usually move it to the greenhouse where we now give it the solid food, whatever type of waste you have at that moment, be it the vegetable waste or fruits, you now start feeding it on the solid food. Uh, this is our dryer, it has different tracks. So once we've already done the larval harvesting, we usually put them in some hot water to make them immobile and then we dry it for a period of four to six hours. And after we dry, we have our end product. So this is our end product after we've dried the larvae. And this is what we supply to our farmers and animal feed manufacturers. It's pure protein. Um, this is our fertilizer known as Shamba Mix. This is what we get after the larvae has broken down the waste. It turns into a soil-like substance known as frass. And it's rich in nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. So uh, a farmer can use this as a top dressing or you can mix it with water and just spray it on their plants.
In order to understand how the organic fertilizers work, Rahima takes us to the greenhouse nursery. Um, here is where we are doing trials for fertilizer. We've planted some tomatoes and we applied the fertilizer with the soil. Um, and so far so good. We actually saw that the growth was after three days as compared to the regular soil where the tomato would have grown after five days. For instance, you can see this planter here and this one. The tomatoes were planted on the same day. This one we put in the fertilizer and this one we didn't. So it's a, it's a bit stunted, taking a bit too long. So I think it's a positive result so far that Shamba Mix works well. Working closely with other organizations and also getting support from the county government of Kiambu, Ekodudu is now in pole position to train farmers and any other interested parties on how they can turn solid waste into money. For Horizon Reports, I am Aisha Khan.